Hey guys, this is Ganesh. Welcome back to Ganesh Jada Automation Studio. So today we are going to uh, learn about the latest change about the Chrome driver. So there is a lot of changes happen on the Chrome driver sites from the Google sites, and due to this, lot of Selenium is impacted over there. So the so the thing over here is uh, so so see if our Chrome browser Chrome driver is updated from uh, from version one one four to one one five one one five. Then the point over here is how basically we can able to run our test case because of if our browser is updated from 114 to 115, then definitely we must need to download the Chrome driver version 115. Then the point over here is how to download the Chrome driver version 115. So before that, let let's see the issue. So suppose if you are having a script like this, and if you are going to run your program, you can see definitely you 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 can able to see the issue like uh, you can see. Chrome browser is not opening up. Amazon.in website is not opening up over here. And you can see this is a clear cut issue basically we have getting. You can see, guys, uh, could not start a session response code. Clear cut issues basically we have getting. You can see my Chrome driver version is older, like uh, 113 version basically we have. Now, the point over here is how to, uh, how to, now the point over here is how to add the thing over here. So, for that, what, we, what usually we are going to do, guys, we mainly visiting to the Chrome driver browser because we want to update the thing. But before that, let me check the check my Chrome browser version. You can see if I'm checking my Chrome browser version, the my Chrome browser version is 115. So definitely I must need to download the Chrome driver version 115. But the point over here is where is the Chrome browser 115? Because I can see over here only the browser 111 till the browser 114. So, so driver version I can see over here 114. So Google is introduced new dashboard for the Chrome testing as uh, now the, and you can easily find out the link from here as well guys you can see this is a dedicatedly dashboard created by the Chrome uh, Chrome uh, Google organization so what exactly I need to do guys I just need to simply click on here uh, on, on this link and you can see guys these are the link basically we have we have getting these are the temporary link basically we have guys but going forward you must uh, whenever you want to find out the a Chrome driver version, so definitely you must need to find out from here only. Now, what are the major change basically did by the Google organization in, in terms of this LEM? So, Google uh, organization developed the uh, design the Chrome driver version newly over here, and as well as Chrome dedicated Chrome browser version also they introduced for the for the what guys uh, for the automation run. So, so de a different dedicatedly version basically they download over here. But before that, you can see, guys, if you would like to download the Chrome driver version 115, so please go ahead with this stable version only. Don't download the beta, dev, and canary versions as of now, okay? Because of uh, the those those phases, those those versions are are in the development phase, so you don't need to download those things. So mostly go ahead with a stable version. So if if you are going to click over here, you can see this is the thing we have. And if you are going to click over here, so you can directly jump on the version. You can see these are the stable version we have 1150. These are the version we have, and you can see your version are divided into two parts. So as I just uh, told you guys, so first one is Chrome Google organization is defined the dedicated browser for the automation runs, which is named as a Chrome browser. This is a this is a first part it is introduced, and if you looked at the uh, second part, you can see this is the second part we have. So it means going forward. So this is a driver path we have. It means guys going forward whenever you want to download, whenever you want to update, uh, whenever you want to run your test case, definitely you must need to, you must need to, you must need to download this Chrome driver path as well and Chrome browser path also you, you must need to download. Okay. So, so this is what exactly I want to tell you. Now, if you are, if I'm scrolling down over here, you can see guys upcoming version releases also are also are here. You can see beta version, canary version, day versions, every version basically we can able to see. Now the point over here is how to download this version. So suppose if I'm going to click over here, you can see I cannot able that these links are not clickable. So if you want to download the version, simple what you have to do guys, simple you have to click over here, copy this URL and just click on the new tab and just paste it guys. That's it. Once you paste it, you can see your browser version is automatically downloaded over here. This is a browser I'm I'm downloading. This is a Chrome browser I'm downloading over here. And Chrome driver version, if I want to download, simple, I want to download from here as well. If I'm going to copy this URL and again, I need to paste this URL where guys in a new tab. 
So once I click on this new tab, you can see there's automatically your driver version again downloading over here. So you can say this is my browser version and driver version both are downloaded over here. Now you might have a question, uh, which, which version you, you would like to choose? Yes, it's completely depend. If your operating system is 32 bit, then, then go ahead and just download 32 bit uh, version. If your operating system is 64, go ahead and just download the Windows version 64. No need to worry about it. Uh, but but try to try to keep both as as the same, guys. So for the Chrome browser, you have to download Chrome version Win, Windows 64, and for the Chrome driver as well, you have to download the Windows version 64. Once you are done with this thing, guys. Now what I'm trying to do, let me navigate to thing and let me extract this thing. So these are the both the version. Basically, I downloaded it. Now this version already exists in my local machine. That is why uh, you can see like this is one one option. Basically, I'm getting that. This is the name. Basically, I'm getting. So I'm deleting this thing and you can see guys, this is how basically uh, this is how basically I extract those those files. You can see this is a Chrome driver version and this is a Chrome Windows version. Now, now let's move ahead, move ahead towards uh, this this version, Chrome browser version. If I'm going inside, you can see guys, this is a dedicated version. Basically, they allocate to us, which is named as a Chrome uh, browser version. If I'm going to double click over here, you can see guys, this you will get a clear cut message Chrome for testing. This is a dedicated browser. Basically, Google organization defined for an automation. Learning. You can see Chrome for testing version 115 is, is, is only for automation testing. For regular browsing, use the standard version for Chrome that that use automatically. So this is what exactly I want to tell you guys. Okay. So this is the dedicated browser. Basically Google, uh, Google organization provided for the Selenium automation. Run. Okay. Once this is done, now let's, let me move ahead and let me check, uh, let, let me show you the version of the Chrome driver. Now you can see guys, if I'm looking at over here, I'm again, uh, going inside over here in this Chrome driver win, uh, for, uh, for version, I'm just going inside and let me check the, what is the version basically we have. So if I'm opening my command prompt over here, simple, I just need to, what guys, Chrome driver.exe file, I need to uh, press over it. Like, uh, this command basically I need to write down over here. Once I'm pressing enter, you can see guys, this is the dedicated browser, bra Chrome browser driver we have, which is named as a 115. So this is the major change basically we have. Now these changes we must need to define in where guys, in our automation script. So how to define the changes? So suppose if I'm opening my IntelliJ idea, you can see, you can see guys, this is my, this is my Chrome driver version we have. So let me, uh, let me copy this version and let me paste it this version guys over here. Okay. So suppose, uh, okay. So suppose if I'm having, let me refresh this page. Uh, okay. Let me go inside this page. And if I'm going to check guys, you can see this is the path. Basically I need to copy which one Chrome driver.exe path. I need to copy. Once I copy this path, you can see guys, uh, once I'm copying this path, I'm just need to paste it over here. You can see this path. Basically I need to paste it over here. Once, once you added the Chrome latest Chrome driver, uh, version like one, one, five version, uh, driver version. Once you added over here, what we have to do guys compulsory, we must need to set the path of what guys, uh, uh, what part basically we have to set, uh, we have to set the binary path of this thing. Okay. So what exactly I need to do option dot set binary path. We have to set. And, and, and inside that we need to provide the path, which path basically we need to provide guys, which we downloaded over here, which one, this Chrome driver path we have to set. You can see guys, this is a Chrome driver path. Basically I need to set over here. Okay. And here I just need to set this Chrome driver dot exe. Okay. This path basically I need to copy it and I, I need to paste it over here. When this is done guys, again, what we have to do, we need to set the, what we need to add the argument basically over here. So options dot what guys add argument this property. Basically we have to add. Okay. And hyphen hyphen remote. This is a known property for everyone. Allow. Okay. Hyphen origin. Origin. Is equal to. Star. Okay. This is what basically property we have to, uh, we have to add guys. So this is a binary property. Basically we have to add and this is argument property. Basically we have to add. And when this is done, if I'm going to run my program, you can see guys, what exactly happened. Now we can able to run our program successfully on the, on the, uh, browser. You can see guys, this is a dedicated browser we have for automation testing. This is a dedicated browser. Basically we have now you might have a question. Can we able to run this? Uh, can we able to run our program without this, uh, without this set binary, without this Chrome browser? As of now, guys, yes, you can able to run the program. You can see if I'm going to run the program, 
you can able to run the program very easily but this is a, this is not a, this is not what this is not a chrome browser which is newly introduced by the google so so if you want to use the so like at the end basically you compulsory you have to take going forward compulsory you have to take this chrome dot exe properties while while running the running the script but guys what we have to do compulsory you have to set the set the binary path for the latest chrome browser and then and only then you can able to run your program or automation discuss on the latest browser you can see guys this is how the dedicated uh, browser basically we have <clears throat> so this is what the uh, bigger changes happen in a chrome driver guys and and for the and there is a lot of impact on the selenium as well so these are the not issue from what guys this issue this issue not come from the selenium web driver this issues come from the uh, google chrome driver guys okay this is thing basically i want to tell you guys and probably they are going to uh, probably they are going to uh, they are, they are going to release this thing as soon as possible it means whatever issues basically we are uh, facing so they are they are working on those issues and probably they are going to fix these issues in our upcoming version as well okay but these are the this is the recent changes we have and we must need to we must need to refactor these changes okay uh, that's it for that that's it for today guys thanks thanks for